Suppose we want to compose some trigonometric functions involving inverses. We'll start with some examples that involve our common angles. So for example, find the exact value. Say that we have the sine of the inverse cosine of 1 half. So the inverse cosine, this is really just an angle. So let me call this theta, so I know what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for the angle whose cosine is 1 half. Keep in mind the restriction of the inverse cosine. The domain restriction of cosine was between 0 and pi. So we can only be looking at the top of the unit circle. So I'm looking for the angle whose cosine is 1 half. In other words, the x coordinate is 1 half, which is at 1 half, square root of 3 over 2 which is the angle of pi over 3. So this angle is pi over 3. We're not done, though. That's just the first part. So we have sine of pi over 3. So still at pi over 3, now the sine is going to be square root of 3 over 2. Okay, let's try maybe a tangent of an inverse sine of negative one half. So again, an inverse sine is just an angle, so I'm going to call that theta, so now I'm looking for an angle. Now since we're talking about inverse sine, the domain restriction of sine was between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So we can only be looking on the right side of the unit circle. So I'm looking for the angle whose sine is negative 1 half. In other words, whose y coordinate is negative 1 half. Okay, so that point is square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. And ordinarily, we would call that 11 pi over 6. But as the restriction between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, this is a clockwise angle, negative pi over 6. Again, that's just the first part of the problem. Now we need to actually find the tangent of that same angle. So the tangent is going to be y over x. So the halves are going to cancel, leaving me with a negative 1 over square root of 3. Rationalized, negative square root of 3 over 3. Okay, let's try another one. Let's say we have the cosecant of the inverse cosine of negative square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so again, the inverse cosine is just an angle. So this is some angle whose cosine is negative square root of 3 over 2. Keeping in mind the restriction of inverse cosine, the domain restriction of cosine was between 0 and pi, so we can only be looking at the top half of the unit circle. So I'm looking for the angle whose x-coordinate is negative square root of 3 over 2. So that's going to be negative square root of 3 over 2, and then 1 half. So this angle between 0 and pi is 5 pi over 6. And that's just the first part of the problem. Now we need to find the cosecant of that same angle. So in other words, the reciprocal of sine, the sine is 1 half, so the reciprocal is 2. Let's try one more. Let's say, let's do the inverse on the outside. Let's say cosine inverse of the sine of 7 pi over 6. Okay, sine of 7 pi over 6, we can just find what that is. So 7 pi over 6 gives us a point of negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. So the sine is negative 1 half. So now it's like a new problem. So now I need to find the inverse cosine, which is an angle. So I need to find the angle whose cosine is negative 1 half, keeping in mind inverse cosine. The angle restriction of cosine was between 0 and pi. So we can only be looking at the top of the unit circle. So where x is negative 1 half, we'll be at the point negative 1 half, square root of 3 over 2, which is 2 pi over 3. 